Everything you say, yeah, could turn me around right now. All things are right when you can't tell whether it's day or night. And you can... you know why this is important? If this wasn't the first comic book, Batman comic book, that I had as a kid, it was the one that left the most impression on me. I remember the cover. I remember getting the cover. It was at an IGA, South Lebanon. I used to have those old comic racks back in the day in the grocery stores. Remember when you could actually buy comic books in grocery stores and convenience stores? remembered looking at this cover this cover right here and thinking that is freaking cool alright I realized after I made the video that I forgot a couple important pieces of the information that makes this story make a lot more sense I've been looking for this particular comic book for a while now. I just haven't been able to find it. I couldn't remember the issue number, the story, nothing. Just the cover was stuck in my head. And so after searching for well over a month or more, just trying to find the comic book without any idea of telling people you know, what, it looked, what I thought I remembered and everything and striking out to no end, I finally had the, the brilliantly stupid idea, which is stupid because I don't know why I didn't think of it first. I posted the question to this really cool Batman form set that I'm on. And literally within... With less than an hour, literally, people were coming up, giving me information about the comp book and everything else. Um, and then finally, you know, some guy said something about what the issue number was and then, then everything else. And I was like, that's it. That's the comp book. I remember, you know, I was so excited. And I was actually at work when all this stuff was kind of, I was finding everything out. So I knew I couldn't do anything. Well, I noticed I had a PM message, just a private message, personal message up on the forum site and it was from this guy named Billy who uh, goes by the handle Ghost Stalk. He uh, dresses up as King Tut. He's a cool guy. And uh, met him at the Motor City Con. And he PM'd me and said, I found the comic copy of the comic on eBay. I went ahead and bought it. It's yours if you want it. And uh, that was just cool because um, you know, I didn't even get a chance to, to, to get it on my own. And here he went ahead and just found it online and bought it for me. So now the rest of the story might make a little bit more sense to y'all. Billy, thank you. You'll never know what this means to me because to me this is just more than a a comic book to a kid whose childhood really sucked I mean sucked bad this comic book was hope these stories were hope for that kid for me that you could be more than what your circumstances were you could be more than than one event in your life that no matter what happens to you that that you can rise above it and do something good with your life and help other people this is just not a comic book thank you Billy Thank you. <clears throat> now, if you excuse me all, I have a comic to read. Mm -hmm.